Hi, welcome to this new tutorial. I will show you how to create dynamic blocks with attributes. In this example, we will create a door with attributes, oh, like this legend. And here is an example, but this example is only lines oh, and text. We can make a, a block with attributes. Um, for example, the distance of the width of the door we can display automatically in this block. I will show you how to create this type of block. Click on insert here, uh, create a block, select object, select all of this. Presenter, the name Dynamic Block Door, and click Open in Block Editor. Check this. Click on OK. Insertion Base Point here. Uh, here is. Oh, we'll delete this. Mm -hmm. And um, first, you have to define uh, parameters uh, like uh, linear. Click on linear and define this length oh, or this distance the width of the door here is um, if you want to modify only one grip please uh, right click on this uh, element and select properties properties and in numbers of grips please select one, only one. Okay, then we can only move this grip, no? and also we define a action. No? Select a scale action, and first select the parameter. Uh, click on distance, and select the object. No? The objects we will select the object that we can scale or we want to scale in the drawing all of this all of this and all of this enter and it's ready huh? also we insert a def or define a attribute With and insert field, click on this icon and select all, select block placeholder and choose distance one. No, distance one is this. Um, with the architectural format which we are working and select OK and click on OK and justification right and test high 3 or with we'll test with 3 OK Um, I think that that is the, the correct position here and uh, we insert a text with only an X
and the height no? with another attribute, define attribute height and you can enter a default text like uh, 7 feet no? 0 inches height justification left test height 3 no? like positioned uh, press or uh, click on OK here is I will move this a little bit left you can enable to move and um, rotate this element with the next steps um, first you have to configure the parameters um, first uh, rotate this point in the middle here to here angle label gate location this and also a point where you can move this element also here in the middle in the position of the label here and the actions move with the position select the objects all these objects enter um, rotate with this parameter select the objects all of this enter um, that's all. Close uh, block editor. Save the changes. Uh, uh, I will test. Uh, here. Oh, uh, okay. Insert. Insert block. Here is dynamic door. We insert here. This is I automatic uh, width. Uh, we can change this, for example, two inches. And click on OK. You will notice that uh, the automatic width is with this distance, no? here to here. Uh, also, if you click on the door, you can scale the door. Click on the grip, and you can notice that you can uh, scale uh, with with this parameter the this distance. Uh, I will click here to fit in this space oh. um, if you apply the command regen regen you will regenerate all the fields oh. it's three, 3 feet 8 inches oh. and if you click again on on the block you can move also this field no? this field you can move no? and also if you rotate this no? for example here no? you can rotate 
only this. Huh? For example, you can move huh? also to fit in another space. Huh? You can move, for example, to another place. For example, here. Clean in the grip to fit in the space and apply the command regen. Enter um, and this distance automatically update. And you can move this to fit better. And if you want to save the block, you have to select and insert block editor. Click on OK. And you can save here. No? Click on the arrow, save block as you can introduce a new name or the same block name click check this no, to save block definition to drawing file click on OK and choose a folder and click on save and if you open a new drawing you can uh, insert this block click on the block open ok insertion point ok and you can use this block to another drawings. In the next tutorial I will show you how to create a dynamic windows with some properties that you can uh, update uh, some distance. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe and click on the little hand of I like this. Thanks.